Okay, so if we look at number nine, okay, we have one angle that's 40, another angle that's B, and another angle that's 295. How much does a full circle equal? 360. 360. But we don't know a value for B, though. That's right, but what do we know one of the angles it's definitely is? 180. It's like one, four, one, 195. 295. Uh, mm -hmm. Plus what else? 40. 40 plus what else? We're trying to, yeah, so we're trying to get all the way around the circle. So we took this 295, and then we looked at this 40, and then we looked at this B, and look at what I made. I made a full circle, so I know that that should equal... 360. Okay, so 295 plus 45 plus 40, sorry. 335 plus our B equals 360. Now what can we do? What are we trying to find? Bree, are you even paying attention? Because you look like you're not. So, subtract. Yeah, we're going to subtract what? 335. 335. 335. So 25. Okay, so our B should equal 25. Okay, and if we look at our circle and I put 25 right here where the B is, and I take that 295 plus that 40 plus that 25, I should get 360, which is a full circle. And we went all the way around that inside of that angle. So you should get 360. Okay, so your answer is going to be 25. Okay, let's look at 10. So some things you're gonna have to look at and say, well, is this vertical, is this supplementary, is this complementary, um, is it a linear pair? What does it look like? So we can look at this and for sure, look, see what? Hmm? We can for sure see the variable, so we have this angle. What else do you for sure know is true? It is equal and opposite. So there are multiple ways to approach this. Okay? If this one is 34, what should this one be? 34? Yeah, sorry, I did it backwards. 34. <laughs> if this one is B, what should this one be? B. B. Okay? And if I look at all of them for the whole entire circle, what should they all sum up to be? 360. 360. But on the flip side, you can do it just the opposite. Okay, so you could say 34 plus 34 plus B plus B. Okay, so I'll write that part up here if you want to do it that way. So 34 plus B plus B plus 34 should equal what? 360. 360. Okay, but on the flip side, what do we know is a half of a circle? 180. 180 and or a straight line. Look at this. So we got this angle right here. And we know for sure they're talking about this angle right here. What do you notice about the two angles put together? Yeah, it's supplementary. So on the flip side, you could also say just the B plus the 34 should equal what? 180. Okay, so however you want to approach a problem is totally fine. But vertical angles are equal. So if one is a vertical angle, the other one is a vertical angle. If one is B, the other one is B. Okay? Obviously, the B plus 34 is less math. Okay? Okay. Um, <laughs> rather than having a 34 plus 34 plus B plus B, but whatever way that you can visually see it to put the problem together, that's totally fine. Does this make any sense of what I'm saying or not? I need you guys to tell me. Yeah. I think I'm getting it so far. Okay. Okay, let's look at 11. What can you for sure tell me about 11? Because, so geometry, we can't say, well, it looks like you have to know for sure. So, do we know for sure? Are these vertical angles for sure? Why not? 
Because they're not the same size. They're not the same size. So although this one and this one are opposite, okay, I drew my line way jacked up. Are they equal? No. no. Do they look the exact same size? No. So we cannot say for sure that they are um, vertical angles, okay? So we can't say, well, this one is B, so this one should be B. Okay, let's look at this side. So this one is 58 and you have this side. Do they look like vertical angles? Mm -hmm. no. They are opposite, but are they, they look like the exact same size. No. No. no, so we can't say they're vertical angles. Okay, so what else can we do? So we know about vertical. Okay, are they adjacent angles? They don't share the same size. We're looking at these two. So we're looking at what we're given, and which is going to be this 58 and this B. Are they adjacent angles? Yes. What's an adjacent angle have to have in order to be called an adjacent angle? Side. Share same side. Do they do that? Okay, so we can dictate because they're either going to be vertical or adjacent. So we know for sure that they're adjacent. Okay, well, let's look through the complementary and supplementary. Are they complementary or supplementary? No. Complementary is how much? 90. 90. So are the two of these added together going to be a 90 degree angle? No. Okay, are they going to be supplementary? No. Does this look like between the two of them? A straight line. No. Yeah. So we know that they're supplementary. Okay. So they're also they're adjacent and they're supplementary. Okay. So how can I set this up? Mm -hmm. We did it the other day. Um. What's supplementary mean? It will equal 1A. So we can put that together automatically. What will equal 180? B plus 58. And we have to minus 58 from both sides. Minus 58 from both sides. It should be 122. That's what I got. Okay, let's look at 12. Are they vertical or adjacent angles? Adjacent. They are adjacent. Okay, are they complementary or supplementary? Why do you say they're complementary? Huh? Because of the square in between them. Okay, they are complementary. What's complementary say? It will equal 90 degrees. It will equal 90. What will equal 90? B plus 60. And then wouldn't we have to minus 60 on both sides? Yes, but slow down. Sorry. You're fine. Okay, if this one is 90, what does this one have to be? 90. Okay, if this one is 90, what does this one have to be? 90. 90. And what about the last one? 90 again. 90 again. What do two 90 degrees ones equal? Two complementaries equal a supplementary. A supplementary. Two supplementaries equal complementary. So two half a pizza equals a whole. A whole pizza that equals the whole circle. Okay. So two complementaries, two 90 degrees, and if you type in 90 plus 90 on your calculator, it's going to equal 180. Two complementaries equals one supplementary. Two supplementaries equals one circle. Okay. And I know that seems like a lot. I'm well aware. Um, okay, so we're going to get B equals 30. <clears throat> Is that a step you would want us to think about? What? Or like have to go in and work with that? Or is that just something we're... What? 
the, the two supplements. You will eventually, yeah. And there might be some on here. I honestly don't know. Okay, 13. What do we know? What can we figure out? We've done one like this already. Huh? Um, 30 degrees. Okay, what can we get from this? Look at your other one. What was it? Number... It's okay. Look at number nine. See how we set it up. It's no. So we got this one, and we also know this little 20 degrees one, and we also have a B. How can I figure out what? How do I need to set it up? Look at your number um, nine. What did we do? So. Yeah, so we're going to set it to 360. Why are we setting it equal to 360? Yeah, because eventually we're making the full circle. Okay? Um, and if we look at it, I wish my thing would go smaller, but it doesn't. Okay, we have this one. And we have this one, and we have this one. And it does eventually equal a full circle. When we take all three of those pieces of pizza, it's going to make a whole pizza. So we got 323 plus B is 360. We have to do, we have to minus 23. Minus 323 from both sides? And Alex, what did you get? Plus 23 plus B. Oh, 37. 37. Okay, let's look at 14. Are they um, vertical or adjacent? We're looking at this one and this one. Are they vertical or adjacent? They are adjacent. Why? They're sharing the same side. Okay, are they complementary or supplementary? Hmm? Why? Because of the square, they're complementary. Okay, so they're going to be complementary. What does complementary mean? It equals 90. It equals 90. What equals 90 in this picture? B plus... 25 equals 90. Okay, so we're going to say minus 25, minus 25. So 65. 